Hey everybody, the horse racing kid is signing on. The handicap races from Mountaineer Park. It's opening day at Mountaineer. They're going to start their meet. It's going to be a preview and the picks for Mountaineer. Let's start off with Mountaineer. Race number nine, their feature. It's lounge race. Purse $22,400 for Phillies with three-year-old which never won two races. It's a lounge race going five and one half furlongs over the main dirt oval at Mountaineer. Five and a half. And I'm going to do a trifecta here, a special trifecta for you. I do them occasionally, but uh, no. So I'm going to do a trifecta here. Going with the 147 trifecta. Number number one, awfully sweet. Last time out, the run at Tampa, six furlongs in a maiden race. One by two and a three quarter lengths. TD House enough today. The run at Tampa, seven furlongs. Came in third by ten lengths. Mountaineer, I. Uh, a mile came in fourth, a fifth at Keeneland, at Hoosier six furlongs, came second and third at Hoosier at five and a half. Going with this one, likes the dirt, seven to two, so yeah, and I'm going with number four, opportunity here. Last time out, the run of Claiming Royce at Turfway, came in eighth by 65 and three quarter lengths, then ran at Turfway again, six furlongs, came in, th came in sixth by 30 lengths, and then ran at Turfway in the go-well stakes, came twelfth by 29 lengths. Won his first race at Mountaineer uh, with Dean Sarvis back in October by a neck at five and a half. Back to dirt. Hopefully his horse could do good. I'm going with number seven here too. Number seven, Bry Brain Trust. Last time out, the run up Beulah five and a half. Won by three and a quarter lengths. Then ran up Mountaineer in a mile. Came in third. A second at Mountaineer five and a half. A ninth at Keeneland. Fifth at uh. Thistle came second in the race at uh, Mountaineer. Loves the surface, so I'm going with this one. So, to recap my bets for race number nine for Mountaineer opening night, I'm going with the 147. Uh, so, it's a preview show. Uh, Mount, here's the preview. The main track from Mountaineer is one mile. Miss Oddly Shaped for some reason, as you could say, if you don't know. It's Miss Oddly Shaped. It's a seven furlong oval turf course. With the distance from last turn to finished 905 feet, the here's their stake schedule. 2010 stake schedule kicks off on Tuesday, May 18th in the Waterfront Stakes handicap at six furlongs. Then they have the Memorial Day at a mile, the Declaration Day at a mile, the Ohio Valley at six furlongs, the Independence, the Firepacker, the featured race of this meet is the West Virginia Derby back on August the 7th. Only special post time for Virginia Derby Day is 2 p.m. All the other times are 7 p.m. except West Virginia Derby Day. Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday racing through March to December the 21st. They have a casino there, a racino gaming. So, yeah, so it's free to get in. It's how you get this here. So, please... Uh, so, so it's the horse racing kid signing off. Remember, good luck, good luck, and uh, please comment, subscribe, go to horseracingkid.com, go to a free horse racing community where we have contests, everything. Wolveshorseracing.ning.com. It's wolveshorseracing.ning.com. It's free horse racing community. Just sign up. You have to be approved, but you'll be approved most likely.